Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. NASA's acting administrator, Robert Lightfoot, visited the agency's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans February 13th to view damage from the February 7th tornado strike and to speak with employees about ongoing recovery efforts at the facility. The work at Michoud is critical to supporting the production, testing, and final integration of the core stage of NASA's Space Launch System Deep Space Rocket, the largest rocket stage ever built. Evaluations of a NASA-developed flight control software are scheduled to wrap up around February 21st in Washington State. The agency is testing the Air Traffic Management Technology Demonstration 1, which is designed to provide precise spacing information to airplanes on approach to airports so more planes can land safely, save fuel, and reduce engine emissions, all while improving schedule efficiency to help more passengers arrive on time. On February 14th, the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame announced the selection of its two newest inductees. Ellen Ochoa, current director of NASA's Johnson Space Center, veteran of four space flights and the first Hispanic woman to go to space, and Mike Fole, who has served on the space shuttle and both the Russian space station Mir and the International Space Station, will be inducted to the hall during a May 19th ceremony at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Florida. Two NASA employees were recognized at the annual Black Engineer of the Year Awards STEM Conference February 9th through 11th in Washington. Alan Parker, research engineer and fiber optic sensing system team lead at Armstrong Flight Research Center, received the Career Achievement Award in government. And Janet Sellers, NASA's Acting Associate Administrator for Diversity and Equal Opportunity at headquarters, received the organization's Corporate Promotion of Education Award. The event highlights top professionals and students in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. NASA presented its Exceptional Public Achievement Award to Ted Melfi and Margot Lee Shetterly February 15th at the agency's headquarters in Washington. Melfi and Shetterly are the director and author, respectively, of the movie and book Hidden Figures, which highlights a group of female NASA mathematicians that made critical calculations for historic space flights in the early days of the space program. The award recognizes non-government individuals for significant specific achievement or substantial improvement in operations, efficiency, service, financial savings, science, or technology, which contributes to the mission of NASA. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov slash twan. I was born in Iowa and raised on a farm. My dad and mom grew cattle and hogs and corn and soybeans. Their incredible work ethic, I think, is something that uh, has contributed to my success. I think that can-do attitude that we've got to make it work, let's figure it out, never give up kind of attitude has been very important. When I was nine years old, I watched the first guys walk on the moon and uh, made an impact on me. I was very impressed. My father had a dream to learn how to fly. I learned how to fly when I was 10. And so I got to go on my first airplane ride when I was 10. I think all these things together, you know, contributed to this fact that I, I could be what I wanted to be. And I obviously had the support of my parents believing in me, even though at the time, young girls weren't supposed to do those kinds of things. When I graduated from high school, it was the first year they picked female astronauts. And I think that was another key moment in my life. And I think that was when becoming an astronaut changed from being a dream and into a goal. When I dreamed of being an astronaut, I had no idea how difficult it would be or what the odds would be in order to actually get in. And I think that uh, work ethic, that dedication, was things that in the end helped me be successful. I'm Peggy Whitson, astronaut, a member of the NASA Village that makes space exploration possible. Ever wonder what life is like in space? Or what's happening with the science aboard the International Space Station? Well, check out Station Life daily on NASA TV.